the Unity Universal Rendering Pipeline is really powerful, but it can be difficult to set up at times. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can set up the Universal Rendering Pipeline. Alright, so I'm here in the new project tab, just to show you something. Alright, so there's a Universal Rendering Pipeline template, but if you delete the default assets in it, it will delete the standard post-processing stack and all that that comes with the universal rendering pipeline so i'm just going to use a blank 3d project and call it urp tutorial like this uh, i'm going to save it to my tutorials actually unity tutorials select folder create all right so i set up this example scene here real quickly it's just a cube that doesn't emit any light an emissive sphere and a black ground that doesn't do anything and a directional light all right so we can import the universal rendering pipeline by going into window package manager and going to unity registry and typing in universe universal rp like this it will take a second to install all right the universal rendering pipeline has been installed we can ignore all this and we can go into our URP folder, create a new rendering universal rendering pipeline, pipeline asset. I believe we can just call this URP for now. It will create two objects here. We can change some settings such as HDR. We want HDR. HDR's high dynamic range it pretty much allows brighter areas to be brighter and darker areas to be darker. We can choose some anti-aliasing. I'm just going to do two times. That's usually what I do. We can change lighting, such as cast shadows and lighting resolution and all that. Shadows, I don't really work with that. I don't know what the majority of that does. Post-processing, we want to use high dynamic range. The high dynamic range color mode. Advanced, I don't really know what any of that does. Uh, this is where we can add rendering features. I don't really mess with this just because I, it doesn't really do much but we can go into our project settings now we go to graphics choose a rendering pipeline asset i'm just going to choose the one we called urp and we can see that our scene is purple all right we can fix this by going into our material and manually changing it to universal rendering pipeline and just changing it to lit but that's kind of inefficient or instead we can just go to render pipeline universal rendering pipeline upgrade project materials to universal rendering pipeline materials it'll ask us to make a backup before doing this but i've never had a problem where it's failed this project is really small so it did it pretty fast so i can just change this back to red now like this and we can see that it's working so we can see that our scene still kind of looks bland just because you have the universal rendering pipeline installed it doesn't mean it works so i'm just going to add in a camera real quickly position it to zero 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 okay so we need to enable post-processing and we need to choose our universal rendering pipeline now we have this universal additional camera data script that doesn't do much we need to add in a volume this is a post processing volume currently we don't have a profile so i can just create a new profile we can call it just camera profile and just like how it usually does and just drag that into our urp folder okay so we have to add something called overrides in order to get this to work and there's many overrides here, but the most common is vignette, bloom, and lift gamma gain, and pretty much other color adjustments. I'm just going to add in a bloom here. You have to change some things in order to get to work. And if we go into our game view, we can see that our bright sphere is glowing, and it actually makes it just a little bit more lively. Alright, you can also change the intensity like you can make this really intense if that's the style you're going for but i'm just going to leave that at one you can also change the threshold this essentially is saying how bright the area has to be before it starts using bloom all right the another one i use a lot is vignette 
it pretty much just adds black edges around the screen so we can just enable all this except for the rounded one and we can just change this intensity a little bit more we can see the black edges getting added around so you can just get this to the style you're going for i'm just going to play with this a little bit until i get something like that and then lift gamma gain you just get these color wheels here so you can get like more warmer look more colder look maybe like a green look if that's what you're going for but this kind of takes some skill to know how to use to and to get right so i don't really use it that much so you can just remove that and just play around there's a lot on here and the really only good way to get the look you're going for is to just play around with these so I also use the lens distortion I don't know why I like lens distortion it's pretty much just distorting it that's pretty much all it's doing I, I just use it a lot for some reason I, I just like the way it looks but you can remove that you, you can remove an item by clicking on the three bars and going into remove that, that's it so that's pretty much all for the universal rendering pipeline there's not much more to it besides post-processing this does work with mobile and it does offer a little bit more than the standard post-processing stack but offers a little bit less than the hdrp hdrp is not supported with mobile just because it uses AAA rendering techniques but uh, if you found this video informative, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. I'll be making more Unity tutorials in the future. Fun Uber, out.